Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and I'd like to ask you guys to put your seats up and put your trays in the upright and locked position because we are going to Kolaruma. Prepare for landing. Actually, we're flying now. We're not landing yet. You don't have to put your trays up. Okay, put them up quick. We're landing. Put them up quick. Okay, we're good. Good job, guys. I believed in you. <laughs> Allow I totally to didn't spend 10 minutes trying Morena, to think that up. Who has taken time out of his busy schedule to greet you. Oh, well, that's very nice of President Moreno. Welcome. I thank you wholeheartedly for coming all this way to save our citizens. No problem. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. Nice to meet you, sir. We hope that we can be of assistance. Hmm. You're much younger than I expected. But nevertheless, I'm sure you're quite skilled. We're literally the only skilled people in the entirety of the United States, I guess. I don't know. They seem a bit suspicious. Stigma has claimed many victims, and now rumors are sending the populace into a panic. My people's suffering is my own. That is why I am so grateful to receive help from your country. We'll do our best as a sign of friendship between our countries. I am counting. It's convenient that these doctors just happen to be very good at being diplomats, Commander, kind of. Where are the doctors headed? Sir, they'll be deployed to Arbel, sir. I see. Our American friends may not be prepared for what is in store for them. But I am afraid we have no alternative. I'm counting on the three of you to care for the infected and determine the cause of the outbreak. I'm gonna stay, it might be stigma, I'm not sure, I haven't really done a detailed analysis yet, but event, that's my, uh, there are some unruly elements in this country. amateur so thoughts on the idea. Her. Oh, I almost forgot. Commander, bring her in. But like I said before, this game does follow a kind of similar way that the first game went, in that after a while you get sent off to another country to fight more stigma, which is in more advanced forms than in your own country. Yes, sir. Right away. I am assigning you a special escort. You're our important guests, after all. Ooh, okay. Come, Pepita. Pepita. Uh, it's a dog? Okay. <laughs> Shriek. <laughs> Don't be after. She's a smart dog. She won't bite. That's what the people who have dogs that bite people say. In fact, he won't bite. Afraid. And then, and then afterwards, he's never bitten anyone before. It's a custom in our country to give such dogs as special gifts. I hope you'll accept her. Uh, yes, um, thank you very much. Thank you for your dog. Mm. Nice to meet you, Pepita. Very nice dog here, Pepita. I intended to have a banquet prepared in your honor. We're doctors, not diplomats, so there's no need for formalities. We're here to help the sick. Yes, you're absolutely correct. We all have our work to attend to, including me. I wish you the best of luck with your assignment. Well then, good day. Is the dog gonna help us in our operation? The president is now leaving the premises. President sure seems busy. Yeah, he has his hands full between the gorillas and the economy. And add to that stigma. Nice to meet you, Dr. Vaughn, Dr. Blaylock. Oh, hi there. And Miss Salazar. And you are... Maria Estrada. I was born here, but I went to med school and did my residency in the U.S. I'll be acting as your interpreter. Ah, uh, cool, because... I, I was a little curious what we were going to do if we ran into people whose language I I'm didn't speak. I'm thinking about practicing medicine here, actually. Oh, yes. They did say something about an interpreter. Maria, are you feeling okay? I think I may be coming down with something. She's coming down with stigma. Give me, give me ten dollars, because I already won the bet. Look at her eye, Val. It's all red. Maria, did you get your immunization shots before returning here? No. Because I was born here, I didn't think I needed them. As a doctor, you should know better. Val, she might have Vimase fever. If that's the case, she'll need immediate treatment. That's endemic to this region, but she hasn't lived here in years. Elena, I need your help. We need to check her lungs. 
Okay. Man, we I'll just got here and we gotta do operations on the people that are supposed to be helping us. Okay. Well, Maria, we are going to, uh... Extraction of fem fever tumors. That that doesn't sound like a fun fever. I mean, not that fevers are fun, fever. but it's not as fun as just a regular common cold or anything Supposedly like that. Supposedly, it causes unusual tumors in the lungs. That's all I know. Oh, good. So we actually have no idea Those what we're must doing. Must be the fever tumors mentioned in the examination reports. It appears that removing these tumors will greatly improve the patient's condition. That gives us an idea of how to treat her, but aren't these readings strange? Aren't tumors strange? You're right. These fluctuating numbers are a cause for concern. It seems like they're periodically rising and falling. Uh-oh, that sounds like that one stigma that was rising and falling. You can't just leave her like this. There's no time to waste. Let's begin the operation immediately. Man, we haven't even done anything to help this country yet, and we just come here and have to save this woman. Uh... Valerie, I like Valerie. That is cool. Up. We have to treat her. <laughs> like it even matters. <laughs> I don't use my healing touch most of the time, unless I really need it. Usually. Well, here we go. Let's all do our best. Yep. Let's go. Oh, those look so not good. Fever tumors. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, they're changing colors. Why are they doing that? At least we won't have to use the ultrasound to find them, like with normal tumors. Why are they changing colors? That'll help save us some time. We'll still have to be exceptionally cautious. Look at her. It's changing colors periodically. It's like a chameleon. What, what does that mean? I what does that mean? That we can use the same procedure to remove these as with normal tumors. Okay, so they, they just did an aesthetic change? They're already exposed, so please begin by- What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It looked like some sort of gas. Now we can put more gas, but it doesn't seem to be causing any complications. Oh, when they're red, we can we not do anything? Maybe. Maybe you shouldn't touch it when it's red. That's what I'm thinking. So we need to find one that just... Why are they getting bigger? Is That that seems bad. Let's wait till one turns blue and then we'll excise it quickly, remove it. Is that normal? But it left a scar. Sorry, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I mean, I hope it's not a problem, because there's not really anything I can do about that scar. Oh, come on. How? Whoa. It's bleeding and has become inflamed. That's not good. Uh, okay, anti-inflammatory... Can I do anything about that? Or is that just going to keep happening? Oh, I must have got another one. Okay, uh... We'll wait till one of these turns blue. Ah, uh, I might be a little late on that. Oh, no, I got it. That seems like it could be a problem if it's just going to become inflamed on a... Or Come inflamed on a regular basis like that. So these ones just require you to be fast and not miss. Ah, we'll just leave it for a second. It's going to change too fast. The fever tumors have been removed. Okay, cool. So is, I bet there's more than just that, right? Scars, doctor. Can we laser them? The readings show that the tumors are gone, right? These must be normal scars, then. We'll send the data back to Caduceus, just in case. Let's close her up. I'm sure this isn't going to be the last time we operate on her. I'm sure the scars are Please gonna come back the and do something. So are we just- are we just counting on the body to heal those scars by itself? We can't really do anything? Okay. Whatever works. Seeing a tumor change color like that was surprising, to say the least. I feel like that should be something that these doctors should know about, considering that they knew how to do brain surgery. But I'm glad there weren't any complications. Good work, team. In heart surgery? I mean, you'd think, you think at the very least they'd know how to deal with fever tumors. Of course, then again, doctors that work primarily in, uh, in a single country don't generally know about medical practices on diseases or conditions outside of that country that aren't commonly represented there, like, uh... 
like tropical, like doctors, I, I heard somebody talking about this actually, that a lot of doctors in the U.S. don't have any tropical disease training, or it's very small because they have no use for it, is the thing. What are we going to do Generally. with our interpreter bedridden? Unfortunately, that's not the biggest problem here. You see, she's also a doctor. We could have taught her how to treat stigma. Someone will have to continue seeing patients after we're gone, right? Oh. And so that's kind of important to spread along how to treat stigma. Well, that would we'll be kind of over. important. What did she say? She insists on coming, even if it kills her. Are you going to allow that, Marcus? As a patient, I would advise her not to go. But as a doctor, I must respect her decision. She studied medicine to help the people of this country. And now is their greatest hour of need. If we carefully monitor her condition along the way, will that ease your fears, Val? Yes, somewhat. But I completely understand her desire to help people. Okay, cool. So we still have our interpreter, even if it literally kills her. So let's go to the next mission in Ailing Village. That was... That wasn't hard for the sake of being hard. That was more like, can you quickly do this before they change color? Oh, wow. This place certainly looks poor. Oh gosh, I, I took, I took two classes of Spanish, and I don't remember any of it. He works at the mine too. He says that one of his friends has also contracted stigma. Ah, okay. Some victims were taken to the hospital. Many have already passed away. Well, we it's should do something about that, right? Imagined. So the mine he's talking about is it nearby? He says it's about a two hour walk from here. Wow, okay, so that's not nearby. We suspect that there's a relationship between the mine and stigma. Oh, because, um, I think they were saying something about how uh, the metal comes from Kolaruma or something. And so maybe they mine it here? I think that's a reasonable conclusion. And they were talking about how Stigma needs Kolaruma but to survive so or it doesn't the survive. But mine, it'll be hard to prove it. So this is where the mine workers live. It's a poor village, but things have gotten better since the mine was built. However, the villagers only receive a tiny fraction of the profits. Who owns the mine? The government. Oh, screw you, government. But they sold the mining rights to an international corporation, so a lot of foreigners come and go. It's also been the target of guerrilla attacks. What about So the maybe we should get our surgery laser ready just in case we have to poke somebody. Epi Kahini Trui Andaya? Adohipko and Ansi. He doesn't know the exact number, but there are more than a few. Tell him to bring some of them to the army's camp. We'll operate once we're through examining them. And also, tell them not to worry about the cost, because the president is footing the bill. Cool. Good job, president. Alright, so we're gonna have to operate Doctor, on a few people here, then? We're done setting up the operating tent. Thank you, Commander. What's the status of each patient, Marcus? There are three who need to be opened up immediately. Let's do one right after oh, the other. Oh, so we're gonna have to do this pretty fast then, aren't we? Pepita, it's your job to guard the tent, okay? Sorry, Pepita. Maria, you can't be in the operating room. You're... Operations. Will you be all right? You're probably not very, you know, clean. Yes. Would be the word. I'm feeling a little better now. Watch carefully, okay? This is a complicated procedure that you'll need to learn. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, so they're gonna make us do three of them. They're gonna give us a 10 minute time limit for this one, which is a little bit different. However, it's still going to consume quite a lot of our time. I'm assuming, for a makeshift operating room. I'm assuming it's going to be, um, uh, what's it called? It's gonna be that first one we were given, because that one's the easiest. That's usually what they do when they force you to do a bunch of them at the same time. I don't foresee any problems with operating here. Let's begin the conference at once. The results of the examinations indicate that these three people require immediate surgery. 
Each of them has been infected with a different strain of stigma. Oh, so maybe not. Maybe they'll just have us do as many as we can in the 10 minutes. Maybe that's what they're going to have us Hearing do here. That stigma is spreading sends a chill down my spine. This is a first. We'll have to perform three consecutive stigma operations. And I should probably save my healing touch for the one that needs it the most. So if I can help it, I need not to use it. Do you remember how to deal with each strain, Doctor? That's what we've got you for, Elena. In that case... That's your job, Elena. Good job. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. You're just going to tell us what to do, right? There's so much like that you I always do. Learn. In order to save my country and those suffering from disease... I can't miss a single detail. Alright, so we are going to use Mr. Marcus Vaughn here. Because I feel like his healing touch could be quite useful. This will be a race depending on what we get. Time, so let's get started. I'm not sure which ones they're going to send at us, so we'll just have to sit here and, and see. And I think this will probably be our last one, considering that it's ten minutes long. Three stigma patients in a row. This is going to be a crash course in stigma treatment, Maria. It'll be fun, though. It's not going to be easy for us either, but we need to give it all we've got. Okay, let's begin operating on the first patient. This strain of stigma is Soma. Soma. I cannot remember what that one is, but we'll see it in a second, I'm sure. Ah, oh, this is the one you drain. This is easy. By draining the cellular tissue in the main section, right? Yeah, this one. This one's easy. The core is exposed. Use the laser on it. I'd say this one is probably the easiest out of all of them. It's just because there's not a lot you have to do. I'll get that thing in a second. If the tumor hardens, ah. use the drain on it first. Crap, I forgot about that. The laser is working. So we need to get those tumors, okay. But out of all things, like I said, this one seems to be one of the easier ones to do. Got it. Is this, yeah, this is where they're going to send us to. That's always fun. Ah, crap. Hmm, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. That's not good. We are doing very badly right now. Because I let all that tissue get out. Dang it. Okay, we'll get back to this. If I... I should have not focused on the lasering. I should have not focused on lasering. I should have focused on, uh, on draining. Unfortunately. I'll get us back to there. Be right back. Alright, so we're back. This is the part where it's split up. And uh, we need to focus on draining. That's the most important thing to focus on here. Because if we don't focus on draining, then, uh, then of course, we're going to have a bad time. And it's going to make all those things that just, like, drastically reduce their vitals by a ton. All in all, though, it's going pretty well. I think that's the biggest thing about this game, is that you don't exactly have to be, like, amazing at, at any of the procedures in particular. You just have to be able to just properly switch more. between the different tools quickly. I think that's the biggest thing that is uh, the most important to grasp. I missed it. There's just so much. I think that's why, I don't know, it's, it's hard to drain from all of them fast enough. Especially when there's more than one. And I think if you don't drain it in time, it makes more little blobs that you have to suck up. Which makes it take even longer to do. But it's, it's going well still. 
get these really quick. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's see. We are... We're not doing the best on time. Not doing the best, but we might be able to pick it up in the next one if it's not the too hard. Patient has been treated. Let's move on to the next patient. Depends on how good I... How, how Like, what we get and how good I do on him. We're working at a good pace. I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a really good chain going on, though, as you can see over there. That'll boost my points a lot. Second patient. The stigma is Brachion. What is Brachion? What is Brachion? Is that? Ah, uh, that's this thing. I hate it. Extract the tissue at the tips of the arms. Get Robert's new serum ready. I'm glad we brought some with us. If we crush the grapplers with the forceps, the toxins will be slowed. It's a little tedious. It also requires a lot of concentration. Ah, my chain! No, it was going so well! Ah, why is that one so short? That one with three right there is ridiculously short. But I think if we get it really quick, we'll be okay. Okay, okay, we're doing. We're still doing good. We're still doing good. When they when they increase it to four, that's when it gets a little harder. Like it's like it's like it's like the worst part of multitasking. Keeping your eye on seven things at the same time and knowing if you fail any of them, then everything's screwed up. Oh, got that quickly. Okay, okay, that that <laughs> I actually did that even better than the first time that we had to fight this guy. Let's extract them as many times as we need. Oh, I, I, I would love to do that just as much as the next guy, honestly. Ow, dang it. That one got through. Because there's another short one over here. Could they be a little faster, please? It's not like I'm having enough difficulty keeping up with it all. I think the longer ones don't need to be don't need to be followed nearly as closely as the shorter ones do. I mean, they do need to be followed, of course. Ah. But not as closely. The problem is, is if you mess up anywhere, then you've pretty much got loads of poison just going to go absolutely everywhere. Okay, nearly four minutes to get the last one. We're actually doing really good, because I pulled that together pretty quickly. I did lose that big chain I had a while ago. I'm kind of sad about that, because that was a really nice chain. Of course, with that Brachion, I'm not terribly surprised, considering how hard it is. Now, I think this is the one that shoots the little orbs at the center bit that I have to suck up. some idiot with a microphone shouting at us today. <laughs> be able to focus. Be a little bit easier this time, won't it? I may use the healing touch here just to slow down time enough for me to do stuff more efficiently. Use the laser on the core. Drain the discharged material. You're almost done. Use the laser on the large discharge. I, I remember this. You don't have to tell me. Burn it with a laser. At least I don't have to, like, excise anything. I think excising things is when it gets really hard. When you're forced to excise things while trying to do everything else. Because you actually have to concentrate quite a lot to excise things. No, it didn't. I lasered it. Of course, then, uh, now I'm trying to sit here and stitch. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard? Oh, 
Oh crap. Okay, this is getting just a little bit too much for me to deal with. And this will make us a whole heck of a lot easier on me. We'll do this till the laser burns out and then uh And then we'll start boosting vitals a bit. Did it work? Did I win? No, not quite yet. Man, this this one is quite a show, though, I gotta say. I mean, this one's hard. Ah, oh, crap, laser, no! Laser, please! There we go, there we go. That was actually... That was actually really good time. I think we did that in... We did that less in, in less than two minutes, I think. Yeah, we did that in less than two minutes. That's really good time for that. Oh, no, I'm no kidding. That was that was pretty close. Operations today will lead to the advancement of medicine in this country. So, so interpreter girl, did you pick up any of what we just did? I'm sure they will. Did you pick up anything that we just did? Because that, that was all incredibly important. Okay, so less than two grappler, grappler tips regenerated. Really? I thought we... Well, we got a bit of a chain bonus. Still a rookie doctor, of course, because we screwed up so much. Well, Maria, I guess. Think you can remember all that? How many notes did you write down, Maria? If it was less than seven, then you fail. I've memorized the steps, but... I'm not sure if I'll be able to perform the operation. Don't worry, no one else in the U.S. can do it either. What's most important is for you to discover your own talents. Don't put so much pressure on yourself that you have a nervous breakdown. You know, there's one thing that's been bothering me. What's that? Why was the outbreak here so sudden? Probably due to the lack of medical care in other countries. Or, I mean, not other countries, but uh, third world countries. If it had something to do with Calurium, then it should have happened sooner. Oh. Oh, I see I what he means. Okay. It. Why now? Anyway, we need to have a look at that mine. Let's go talk to the commander. Alright, well, it uh, looks like today's going to only be a, uh, a two-chapter episode. Uh, just simply because of how long that last mission took us. You know, a ten-minute ten minute mission plus the dialogue for it is like half of my episode gone right there. Uh, but anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and next time we'll take a look at the Calorium, which is that metal that comes from the mine that, for whatever reason, seems to have the, uh, seems to help stigma grow a lot more. Little suspicious, we'll look into it more next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Trauma Center New Blood. Bye!